Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. There's new C5 instances. Has AWS changed their hypervisors? There's new S3 encryption and security features. We have four new community heroes, and we're very pleased to announce the very first winner of Guru of the Week. I'm Ryan Kruneberg, and you're watching AWS This Week. Okay, so there's been a ton of announcements this week. One of the biggest announcements was that there was a new C5 instance launch for EC2. And the C instance family first uh, launched in 2010, and we've come a long way in seven years. So the C5 offers a 25% price and performance improvement over the C4 instances, with up to 50% for some workloads. The C5 comes in a variety of different sizes, from a C5 large with two vCPUs and four gigs of RAM, all the way up to a C5 18 extra large with 72 vCPUs and 144 gigs of RAM. So that brings us on to our second point. Has AWS changed their hypervisors? There was a tiny footnote in the announcement of the C5 instance blog saying that the new instances are now based off KVM hypervisors. And they said going forward, we'll use this hypervisor to power other instance types. Now, for those of you that don't know, a hypervisor is basically used to virtualize the hardware so you can run multiple virtual machines on the same physical de device. And I want you to sit back and imagine how many hypervisors AWS has all around the world. AWS has been using the Zen hypervisor for over 14 years, so if they're rolling out a completely new hypervisor using KVM, this is going to be a very, very big project. So there's been five new S3 encryption and security features released this week. And the first one is that you can now mandate that all objects in a bucket must be stored in an encrypted form without having to construct a bucket policy that rejects objects that are not encrypted. The S3 console also now displays a prominent indicator next to the each S3 bucket that is publicly accessible. When you replicate objects across AWS accounts, you can now specify that the object gets a new access control list that gives you full access to the destination account. So you can now replicate objects that are encrypted with keys that are managed by KMS, and the S3 inventory report now includes the encryption status of each object and the report itself can be encrypted. These are all available immediately in the S3 console, so make sure you go and check it out. So AWS have announced four new community heroes, and I always get a little bit nervous when they do this because I'm gonna read out their names and I'm always worried I'm gonna mispronounce one and uh, offend someone. So apologies if I do that. So the four community heroes are An Ho Viet, the founder of the Vietnamese user group, Thorsten Herger, who's the CEO of Tamos, Becky Zhang, who's the COO of BootDev, and Nilesh Vaghela, who's the founder of Electromesh Corporation. Congratulations to each of you, and I hope to meet you at reInvent. And so I'm very pleased to announce the very first winner of Guru of the Week. So for those of you that don't know, we've launched a new competition on our Facebook page. And we're going to be asking a hard AWS professional level question every single week. And in order to enter, all you have to do is like our page and then answer correctly. What will you win? Well, you're going to win some very exclusive swag. We're going to give you a t-shirt, a sticker, and a hand signed card from me congratulating you. And we're only going to print 52 of these uh, a year. I won't even own one. And then at the end of September, we're going to give one Lucky Guru of the Week winner a free ticket to reInvent. So you can really win big here. So last week's correct answers were B and G. We're going to share the answers uh, on the link below as to why these were correct. And I really wanted to just do a big shout out to Vishal Katerverdi. Sorry, Vishal, if I didn't pronounce your surname uh, correctly, but there you go. Um, Vishal is a software consultant from the UK, and he's currently just studying for the CSA associate. So he hasn't gone on to get CSA Pro yet, but uh, Vishal, your answer was spot on, uh, and it was a very good explanation as well. So congratulations. So if you want to enter, this week's question is now live on our Facebook page. So go ahead and check it out, and keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next week.